What's going on, you know we it's your boy Slack so like, uh, Yo, we hit 400 members in the Discord. Let's get it. If you're not in the Discord yet, you still got time. We're gonna do a movie night tonight and every other night, hopefully. But yeah, today we got another Soul Saga video. Alright, play my intro. <laughs> What's going on, Shinobi? Boy, like that, okay? As you guys can see, I'm an A rank. Uh, I figured I'd make a video on this because you know, actually getting to A rank wasn't that hard. This is the result of maybe uh, I want to say like two days of grinding. Um, it really didn't take that long. I also didn't really have to do too too much work up to like B B minus B plus rank. So basically, what you guys gotta do is. Um, rank up to B, B, B plus all on your own. You have to do that up to that on your own. So that's that's the part why, like, oh, sorry, excuse me. That's like the part where you have to actually put the most effort in, and um, uh, that's gonna take at least one day. So if you're constantly grinding, if you the thing about this guys is you need to actually put a couple hours into grinding because if not, it's just not gonna work out. So yeah, once you hit B plus, um, you're good. Uh, after you hit B plus, set up a couple accounts or just one, like I did, in one server, and uh, yeah, just wait an hour because Hogyoku's have an hour uh, launch time. So every hour, a Hogyoku will spawn in your server, and I don't think that they despawn. They might, if they do despawn, then they despawn after 15 minutes. So make sure you have your timers up. Actually, I'm while I'm recording this video, I'm uh, waiting for a Hogyoku. So, uh, honestly, you can do the real grinding if you want to as well. Uh, if you if you want to do that, that's fine. But I just, I didn't feel, I didn't really see the need to. Especially when um, I have access to easier methods. Uh, as you guys can see, I went from being a C, C minus or C or whatever I was. A lawn car to an A Soul Reaper. And even though I still don't appreciate how like all the comments about like talking about how I was alluring I kind of see how like since I've grinded up to this point right now I can see how C really is nothing but yeah as you guys can see obviously I'm not a rocker anymore I switched to Soul Reaper because I think at Hukar there's nothing else that you can do from that point on you're just stuck being in at Hukar and I actually got a pretty busted she guy too so Happy about that. I got ice, which let me show you guys a little combo I have. It's okay. Wait, I didn't work that time, but it's really busted. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I got something. Ice is really busted. Um, I like how it plays. I like the stuns, I like all that. I like how you can do this. And all right, it, it, when it wants to work, when it wants to work. Sometimes it doesn't. Actually, most of the time it doesn't. But um. Uh, yes, before I show you guys this combo, I just want to say, uh, while you're grinding for Hogyokus, which is the easiest method, I know there are probably going to be some people that are like, oh, yo, um, what are you doing with some cheese, bro? Do it the real way, be a real man, or whatever. It doesn't matter, I would rather level up fast than be a real man. And I'm only saying a real man, because that's like how a lot of people will put it. Nothing, nothing against being a woman or whatever, it's the same thing. You know, I, you know I'm not going to get to that, but anyways... Uh, so yeah, ice, ice is pretty cool. Ice plus get. All right, you know what? I'm doing this. But anyways, uh, if I was actually in a real battle, it would work. Ice plus Geki. This is the combo, and it's pretty busted because afterwards you can come behind with a spinning slash. I think the ice was very good when I first got into this game. Like, um, I did a Shikai tier list, and I might have put it at B or A. And the only reason why I rated it so high afterwards is because I fought an ice user and she absolutely destroyed me because ice is one of the few she guys that you can actually infinite combo with. So Hakuren, Geki, Father Geki, Tsuki Shiro, Spinning Slash, and then by this time, um, Hakuren isn't ready yet, but Geki is. So you can just keep on doing this over and over again. And Tsukishiro will be ready soon, so it's really just a pattern. And as you guys can see, that it really didn't take too much reishi, reiatsu, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, 
Ice is pretty good. I enjoy it. I like playing with it. Um, I I'm mostly making this video because I understand that sometimes it's difficult and grinding it's boring. If you guys get ever get bored or just want some tips to help you not get bored, I don't suggest that you just sit on here grinding all day. Uh, what I did was I grinded to B+. Plus. Well, no, first I grinded to um, C. Uh, I just want to say as a story bear, um, she guy is actually very helpful. Like, I didn't think that she guy would change too much since I've never had a she guy in Soul Saga as I've just recently switched up uh, Soul Reaper. But having a she guy on me has made things a lot easier. As you guys can see, instead of having to um, try to perfect block every shot and it's a strike back, if you have a she guy, all you have to do is this or whatever you have, doesn't matter. And it's a lot easier. So, really useful. Um, it saves you a lot of time and effort and overall it prevents you from having to do many of the things that you would have to do if you didn't have a Sheikai. I've made a lot of guide videos on Soul Saga but I feel like this one and my guide video actually if I'm being 100% honest pretty much every video I've made surrounding Soul Reapers has been well they've done more they've done better than Iran car videos now, I don't know if Iran car videos just I don't know if you Iran cars just aren't looking on YouTube as much as Soul Reapers but um, yeah, I might put a little poll in on this video to see if you're a sorry bro or wrong car. And um, yeah, I don't plan on talking too long. I just want to really help you guys understand how to rank up easier. Um, I'm gonna just name a few she guys that are good at farming. Like I mean, especially good. Like as you guys can see, I would consider Ice to be good for farming since you can just do this, and it doesn't want to work when I do it. But another tip for Ice guys. If you're an ice user, I really do suggest that when you're using Tsukishiro, you let them walk into it. Also, if you guys didn't notice, ice does have some decent damage on it. Like, I, I barely hit that thing and it killed itself. So, to not get hit by your own Tsukishiro, the best thing you can do is try to time it perfectly and let them step into it. Now, I don't know what. Oh, I think that my Hakuren cancels it out. Alright, so what you need to do is... Alright, wait. My hair current is like under a comma or something right now. But yeah, now this dude's stuck. Oh, he's stuck. I'm gonna hit him with a spinning slash. By the way, guys, spinning slash is really useful. Um, I'm trying to give overall tips on Soul Reaper gameplay. But fire is very useful for farming. Another another uh, farming method that has recently been brought up by Quincy's is gathering up a crap ton of, of hollows in one place. And after you have all the hollows, all you really have to do is kill them all. And instead of going around killing small amounts at a, at a time, like one every maybe 30 seconds or so, it's much easier because you're doing more at a time and you're getting more XP at a time. So uh, it's really efficient. It's a good method. I don't think that any nerfs or anything like that at this point to, to anything that's not a Quincy would be very... Um, unbeneficial towards the game I don't think that it's necessary and it's just I like Soul Saga a lot as you guys can tell right now I'm grinding for Vizard and I hope that I'll be able to hit Vizard soon if not by the end of the day I know that I'm probably gonna be S plus by the end of the day or at least as I will most definitely be above S minus but um, yeah another good she guy that will be useful for killing the boss has to be who was mm, Alright, well, obviously, Wood and Shadow are going to be good for fighting the boss because, well, they're just busted. Um, Shadow is okay. Com I mean, Shadow and Wood are, like, top two. Easily. I almost beat a Wood user earlier, but, like, he was in S plus rank, so I can understand why I didn't beat him personally. I like Ice because, well, I mean, it's just good, in my opinion. I wouldn't say it's the best, but in terms of PvP especially, it's very good. They're useful, and as you guys can see, you can stun more than one enemy at once, which is perfect for crowd control. And you can let people walk into your Suki Shiro, which is how I usually do it. Then after they walk out, Geki them. And boom. but yeah, ice is ice is very good. But it, it, okay, so without without Geki, ice is good, right? But if you add Geki along to ice, ice becomes something very powerful. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to work on my thumbnails, my renders, my edits, all that. 
you enjoyed the video, let me know. And drop a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.